Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a outdoor porch leaner sign. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. I do want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I made this gorgeous sign for my porch or you can hang it up inside your home. It is totally up to you, but I'm so excited to show you guys how to make this. So let's get into it. Before we start, I want to talk a little bit about the Cricut Joy. As you guys know, currently this is my absolute favorite machine. It cuts over 50 materials. There's a built-in Bluetooth. So really all you need is a device with Bluetooth connection to operate it. It cuts smart materials without a mat, which is my absolute favorite feature. You can draw on different types of materials, including smart writing vial smart writing vinyl good lord cuts a single image up to four and a half by four foot long or repeated cuts up to 20 foot long you can also use this offline from a desktop computer or an ios device it's portable and ready to go which is another one of my favorite features so i have this cute little carrying bag if i want to make things at my friends or take it with me to anywhere i want to go I can so those are just some of my favorite features and I'm going to jump right into the DIY now so I take two signs from Dollar Tree I take the tags off of it as well as the embellishments on the front of it and then I take some large popsicle sticks and some hot glue and I join those two signs together on the front so we will be working on the back of the signs Plus, a little FYI, you guys, Bella is right in the room, in the living room next to me having a good old time. So if you hear her, that is why. But next, I take my lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree and I fill in the holes on the top and the bottom. I also did want to mention that I did butt together the bottom of each sign. That way the holes were at the top and the bottom, but I really don't think it matters. Um... It's really up to you wherever you glue it together. But I then just give it a distressed coat of white Waverly chalk paint. And at the top and the bottom, I'm going to be putting some frog tape, which is just painter's tape, to create lines because we're going to be painting the rest of it black and then just leaving these lines white so you can see what i'm doing here i measured the lines to make sure that they were even on the top and the bottom and in between each of them is a centimeter and a half sometimes you do much better using centimeters because i don't know how to like break down the inches if that makes sense i'm not really good with like the exact measurements on inches sometimes um so sometimes i just find that it's easier to use the centimeters but um either either way you go it's totally up to you um, but like i said i did leave one and a half centimeters in between each line so um the black parts is the one and a half centimeters Then once the black paint was dried, then I do just go ahead and take that painter's tape off. And I did use ink Waverly chalk paint for the black parts. Next, I just take my measuring tape and I just measure out that middle black part. That way I know the dimensions that I need to create our design on Cricut Design Space. So if you're new here, my name's Melissa. I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs. Farmhouse decor is my specialty and much more. So I would love if you would stick around by clicking that red subscribe button so that way you don't miss another crafty moment. I also want to thank Susan and Judy for buying me a coffee. If you enjoy my work and would like to buy me a coffee and get a shout out in my next video, follow the link in the description box below and I just appreciate every single one of you you don't have to support me monetarily you can just watch my videos uh, hit that like button comment in the comment section watch the ads click on the ads there are so many different ways you can uh, support your favorite creators and whatever way you support me I appreciate every single one of you 
Next, I'm going to show you how I created my design on Cricut Design Space. Now, I've showed you guys a lot of times how to use Design Space, so I'm not going to go into too, too much detail, but I will give you the general idea of how I do it. So, you've seen me measure. I go to Cricut Design Space. I start a new project. I then click the shape that I want. So, for this would be a square. I then just unlock it in the left hand corner and then I size it to whatever my project is going to be. That way you have a base to design whatever you're going to do and you know that it's going to fit on your project. So I then just go into the images. I find some greenery and put that at the top and bottom. I then put some text in there that says, welcome to my home. I left the O out because then I went back into images. I found this cute little barn that I liked. Um, there's many different barns in there, but for this sign, I thought that this one was really, really cute. So I then just inserted that image. I unlocked that and sized that as well. And then um, if you're going to cut this all one piece, then you can remove the, the square or, you know, I, I resized it to a triangle. Oh my God, you guys, a triangle. <laughs> I resized it to a rectangle and then you just take that shape away and then click make it and follow the prompts on the screen. Now I wanted mine to be a few different colors. I eventually just printed my little barn out in black because I really didn't like the pink. Um, but all I did was duplicate the image three times. I clicked contour on the right hand corner and then I just hid the images that I wanted to hide. So on the first image, I just left the leaves. The second one, I just left the wording. And the third one, I just left the barn. That way I could print them out in different colors. Next, once I had them all printed, then I go back to my desk and I put them on the transfer tape and then cut the excess away. Now, a little trick that I saw my best friend Nicole from the Weeks Nest do is to varnish from the back and the front. Sometimes I have a hard time getting the vinyl onto the transfer tape, but when I varnished from the back, it came up much, much easier. But if you're still having trouble, then just easily pull, or slowly, I should say, pull up that transfer tape, and then you can take your weeding tool and just kind of pull up the edge, and then it will pull your image up much easier. So I always say to just pull up your image slowly. That way, if you have to lay it back down and continue to varnish or use your weeding tool, then you didn't just pull it up all the way and then have to line it back up and all that crazy stuff. So once I pulled everything off of the backing sheet and onto the transfer tape, then it was time to put this all together. I first laid out the greenery at the top and the bottom. I then laid out the wording. And whenever you're pulling this transfer tape back, I always pull it all the way flat with the part that I haven't pulled up yet, if that makes any sense. And it just helps you to pull this up without pulling your design up again. Next, I take this simple shape. I had this in my stash. This came with simple shapes from Chalk Couture and I wanted something that I could switch out with every season which maybe I'll do that in a different video but for this one I only did my little barn and you can see here that I did the pink but you couldn't really see it against that white so like I said I did end up changing that to black I then drilled a hole at the top of my simple shape and I took a C hook I measured the middle of this and then I screwed that in. And then that was it, you guys. Literally, I love this sign so, so much. I'm going to make a second one to leave hanging up in my home. I did end up spraying this with some triple thick crystal clear glaze by Krylon. That way, it's weatherproof. It's going to hold up to the weather. I did take the simple shape off and spray that down by itself. So that way, we got a nice coating on the entire sign as well as the simple shape so that 
it doesn't get ruined outside um, but anyway I did just want to show you the way that it looks up in my home as well as soon as you walk in it's in my entryway that way like I said you can kind of envision it on your porch or in your home it's totally up to you so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you learned something I love to do these Cricut videos every once in a while I want to thank Cricut again for sponsoring today's video they're helping to support my channel and I greatly appreciate that so with all that being said don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you didn't if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and if nobody has told you today you are absolutely amazing and gorgeous you are worthy and i love you with all my heart and soul and i will catch you guys in the next one bye